Good morning guys and welcome to today's video where I'm doing a video alone, a standalone lesson on the product tool for differentiation for A level maths. Okay, so it's aimed at A level maths for year 12 or year 13 students. Okay, and it's aimed at Edexcel, OCR, AQA, OCR, MEI and all the other relevant and international examples. Right guys, this video was recorded on Sunday the 15th of August 2021. Okay, and in today's video, we're going to look at three examples, so it's going to be a nice short video today looking at the product rule for differentiation. Okay, so the product rule, guys, is when I have two functions that are multiplied together, so let's say I've got y equals a function of x times by a function of g of x, and the product rule would be used to work out the derivative of two functions that are multiplied together that are essentially the, the same function of x essentially okay so f of x times g of x so the so, so the word product in maths means a multiply and this is the formula for the product rule guys so dy by dx on my function is v du dx plus u dv dx where v is equal to one function and u equals the other function so v would be equal to f of x and then u would be equal to g of x or vice versa u would be equal to f of x and g would be equal to v v Okay, so that is a formula, or dy by dx is u dv dx plus v du dx. It, it doesn't matter which way around you use it, as long as you are doing the function of v times by the derivative of u plus the function of u times the derivative of v, if that makes sense. Okay, right guys, so we've got example one actually, so y equals 2x times e to the x. So it's both being multiplied together. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is let u equal 2x and v equal e to the x okay and then what i'm going to do is differentiate them both separately so du by dx so differentiating 2x guys hopefully you're happy that the answer is going to be 2 and differentiating v of x so dv by dx differentiating e to the x guys just becomes e to the x okay so e to the x doesn't actually change when you differentiate it or integrate it for that matter okay now using the formula so dy by dx of uv we say okay because it's u times v okay or, or v times u oops so that, 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 that should be a v there and that should be a u is v du dx so it's 2 e to the x plus u dv dx which is this times this so it's 2x e to the x and if you want to factorize it or simplify what i can do is take 2e to the x out as a common factor 1 plus x okay and that would be your answer for the derivative of this function okay so differentiating y equals 2x e to the x okay using the product rule because i've got two functions that are multiplied together gives me 2e to the x plus 2x e to the x which if i want to factorize it okay so there is no um uh, uh, there is no um, obligation to factorize other than it it, it it might be helpful if you're looking at stationary points but we we will come on to that yeah later on guys but um either of these two answers would be accepted so the derivative of uv or vu is equal to 2e to the x brackets 1 plus x okay for example one guys Example number two, guys, y equals 10x cubed times cos of 5x. So, first of all, let u equal one function, so 10x cubed, and v equal cos 5x. So, differentiating this, okay, separately. So, du by dx, guys, so du by dx, which is our function in terms of u of x is 30x squared and differentiating cos of 5x is using the chain rule okay it becomes minus 5 sine 5x okay so minus sine oops sorry so minus sine of 5x okay and that should be a 5 there guys and, and, and not a square root 
So that should be a 5 there. Right, so using the formula, so dy by dx of uv is v du dx. Oops, should be a, a u there. U v. So it's v du dx. Okay, so it's v du dx, which is 30x squared cos 5x plus or minus, sorry, okay, minus 50x cubed sine of 5x sine of 5x. And that would be my answer for the derivative of the product of these two functions. So I've, I've let u equal that and v equal that. It doesn't matter which um, letter you, you let v or u equal to. It's still going to give you the same answer. So if u was cos 5x and v was that, then it would still give you the same answer at the end. Okay. So it doesn't matter which one you label u and v, as long as you are consistent in your differentiation and when you sub it into the formula, okay? Right, guys, so last one for that today's lesson, okay? So y equals sine 3x cos 7x. So we're going to let u equal sine 3x and v equal cos of 7x. should be an x there differentiate in th side 3x using the chain rule so it's going to be 3 cos 3x so 3 cos 3x guys and differentiating cos of 7x well dv by dx just goes to minus 7 sine 7x using the chain rule Okay, so that is my answer so far. So therefore, dy by dx, guys, of uv, okay, of uv is equal to v du dx plus u dv dx. So v du dx, so it's going to be 3 cos 3x, and then it's going to be cos 7x. And then I'm going to have plus this, but that is a minus, so it's going to be minus 7 sine 3x sine 7x. Okay? So that would be my answer for this question. And this can't be simplified any further, okay, because um, for, 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 for me to simplify this, yeah, it would have to be cos of like, the same amount, if that makes sense. So this can't go be, be simplified any further. So it's 3 cos 3x cos 7x subtract 7 sine 3x sine 7x. So it's v times this, okay, and then plus u times dv dx okay so that is the formula for differentiating when i have a product of two functions so y equals f of g of x sorry f times g of x okay if that makes sense so product rule is used when i have two functions that are multiplied together okay so f of x times g of x and we would use the formula of dy by dx of uv is v du dx plus u dv dx okay so make sure yeah that you are happy with that formula and how to use that formula okay right guys so that is the end of the video today so it was quite a short video actually okay um so thank you so much for watching um any questions any queries then drop it in the comment section i'll do my best to answer within a 24 to 48 hour window okay and um, thank you so much for watching please like comment share subscribe and the next video we will take a look at is the quotient rule for differentiation and then we will also look at the chain rule so i've, I've brushed over that um, briefly but we will take a look at the quotient rule so that's when i have 
fraction, so quotient means fraction, so division, and the chain rule is when I have a function of a function, okay? So that is the plan for the next few videos, guys. If you want any more questions, okay, then please head over to physicsandmathstutor.com for more questions and practice. It will be part of the core four and the core three old spec, okay? So feel free to practice some more questions on this, okay? And if you have any questions or any queries on today's examples, then please put them in the comment section. But that's it, guys, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, okay, um, just now, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop the video a like, press the bell icon so you don't miss out on further uploads, and share my video, guys, and spread my channel uh, around with anyone that might find my GCC Maths or A-Level Maths channel useful, okay? And let's get me to a 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month, guys. Okay, that's it for all today, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you the next one. Bye for now.